In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, you will learn how to use Clipping Mask. With Clipping Mask, you don't need to cut or fit any objects. You can fully concentrate on creative process, boost illustrating speed and quality of your artwork. Today we'll add volume to flower with pen tool and we'll professionally adjust this volume using Clipping Mask. You are watching TNT Tutorials, let's move on and create a new document. Select Print, A4, Horizontal Orientation, in Advanced Options select RGB and click on Create. You can download colors, reference and sketch by the link in the video description. Just create layers and place them like so. You can also download color swatches, I recommend you to do this. Open Swatches panel, select all these swatches, delete them, click here and select Other Library, then find Path to downloaded swatches. You will see this window. Just click on this folder, this folder will appear here, close this window. First that I want to tell you is that when you are creating such illustrations, you always have two ways. You can create one petal for this flower, for example, and then duplicate it to create another one. Or you can create unique petals, this will take more time, but if you know that someone will look at this illustration in close view, you definitely should work in this way. So first of all, let's create new layer and rename it to flower. Swatches, L4 ellipse tool with stroke active, select none, select fill and let's pick this color. L4 ellipse tool and draw lips like this. So here's first example of how you can use clipping mask. Let's pick this color, click here to swap fill and stroke, B for brush. With these buttons you can increase or decrease brush size. Now let's simply draw line like this. And now to fit this line to this circle, all you need to do is to select this circle. I will open layers so you could see better. Right click on this circle, arrange, bring to front. Now select these two circles, right click, make clipping mask. You might think that something went wrong. But that's the way how clipping mask works. You have this shape here, it just became mask and all you need to do is to go to swatches and apply the same color as it had before we applied clipping mask. Now to change stroke within this clipping mask, A for direct selection tool, pick this stroke, you can change proportions any way you want. As you can see, this is very useful. You don't need to cut anything, you don't need to expand this line, use Pathfinder. You're always able to change proportions of this line within this clipping mask and you will be able to change anything even after you will create all artwork. And I will show you even more. Let's press V for selection tool, double click on this clipping mask. Now we are in isolation mode and what you can do, let's open swatches, I will apply this color for stroke. B for brush and now you can draw anything and it will be automatically applied to your clipping mask. You don't need to apply clipping mask over and over. You can add as many objects as you want to this clipping mask, apply any changes and even change size of your clipping mask like so. Just select base object of your clipping mask and change size like this. I will show you one more thing. Double click somewhere on the workspace to exit isolation mode. When you're moving clipping mask, all objects are moving with it. So if you didn't use clipping mask in your artworks before, I think that from this moment you will use it all the time, because I use it almost in each artwork. You don't need to enter isolation mode to apply changes to any stroke. Just pick A for direct selection tool and change objects. I will change stroke width here. Alright, let's lock this layer. Let's create petal, swatches. Let's pick this dark color, P for pen tool. Let's just create petal like this. I will change stroke width to something like this. Right click, arrange, send to back. Now I will press Ctrl C, Ctrl F, I will pick this layer, swatches, let's select none for stroke, 
Let's select Fill Color icon and apply this color. Now let's add some volume here and we will start from this color. Click here to swap fill and stroke, P for pen tool, and let's just simply create lines like this. To stop drawing line, hold Ctrl and click somewhere. Let's just draw a few lines. Now I will select them, properties, let's change stroke width, then let's select this stroke, shift plus W, we just picked width tool, and with width tool you can adjust lines like so. I would also select them all, click on stroke, and select round cap. Let's apply width tool to other lines, like this. As you can see, you don't even need to select stroke to apply with tool. Also, what I want to show you, I'll press Ctrl Z. If you applied with tool to one of these lines and you want to apply the same settings for all other lines, open layers, you can see difference between these dots. This dot is filled, hold Alt, and just duplicate this dot like this right here. As you can see, we've applied the same settings to this line. So let's just simply duplicate settings to all other lines. Now if you would like to edit something, Shift plus W for width tool and apply changes. Here, I had some problems with increasing width to this line because of this line. This line was on top of needed line, so I just locked it and adjusted width. Then I will simply unlock this line. And continue. A for direct selection tool. You can apply even more changes. You can duplicate some of lines like this. And even after you applied width tool, you're still able to change stroke width. Let's just increase it like so. And now to hide these elements, I think that you get the main idea what we will do right now. We will pick this base layer. Right click, arrange, bring to front, let's select these lines also, right click, make clipping mask. Now let's pick this object and apply this color. We need stroke layer to be on top, like this. Now let's just double click on this clipping mask and now as you can see we need to add darker lines on top of these ones. And we might have some problems, because these lines are active, and to avoid any problems, we should simply select them all, Ctrl G to group, and let's just lock them. We will unlock them after we will create another lines. Let's pick this color, P for pen tool, and let's do basically the same. You don't need to create exactly the same lines. Some of lines can be much shorter, like this. Now let's pick this line, Shift plus W. Let's change its proportions. And adjust these proportions to all other layers. Like this. Now I will change width for some of them even more. And to have better view on what you're doing, you should double click on workspace to exit isolation mode and take over a look on your process. Let's make this stroke thinner, like this, and I will also bring this layer up. Now the same method you will use in this part also. Right now I will show you how to create highlights, swatches. Let's pick this color, P for pen tool. Let's change stroke width. Now you should experiment. You can create object like this. Just create it quickly. Don't think of its shape too much, create it like so. If you won't like anything, you will be able to simply delete this object and create new one. There's nothing wrong with this method. You should try different combinations and choose the one that you like the most. Now let's click here to swap fill and stroke. And you don't need to create one big shape. You can also create little shapes like this.
If you feel uncomfortable with this mode, just click here to swap view and stroke. I think you get the main idea. Now you can pick A for direct selection tool and play with these shapes. Don't be afraid to play with your design and change anything. This flower was created exactly in the same way as I showed you now. All you need to do is practice, try different combinations and feel absolutely comfortable with deleting anything and changing anything. Just open this layer group here. This is our clipping mask. Select these two objects and bring them here like so. Now they are part of our clipping mask. Let's unlock these layers. I have another advice for you. Before creating highlights, make sure that you have created all shadows. This will make your life easier. I'm talking about something like this. I will duplicate these shadows here. Let's ungroup these ones. And as you can see, right now we need to adjust shadows to highlights. But you will create illustration much faster if you would adjust highlights to shadows. As you can see right now, we are adjusting both shadows to highlights and highlight shapes to shadows. You can avoid it, create shadows and then just simply create highlights in empty spaces between shadows. If you want to know more about how to use Clipping Mask and see advanced tutorials about it, you can watch such tutorials on this channel as three types of masking and girl character illustration. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below, let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important, by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you will click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.